Oh, hello, you're just in time. The tree is up and it's like Santa's grotto in here. Come in, come in, let me show you around. Welcome to my small but perfectly formed tiny home. Yes, she's coming in at just 500 square feet. She's small, but I love her. And flats are she's, aren't they, I think. I've lived here for 27 years and do you know, every time I put my key in the door, I am filled with joy. I still can't believe that this is my home. And as you can already see, it's rather Christmassy in here. So although I'm into all of the seasons, there is something extremely magical about Christmas. And I'm a real Christmas more is more kind of a guy, as you've probably already seen. I don't know what it is, but ever since I was tiny, I've always enjoyed Christmas time. And I'm one of those people that I just think, throw it all on the tree and more is definitely always more. So with that said, I guess it makes sense to start with what's behind me. Meet Barbara. Yes, she's Babs. I have no idea why I have christened her Barbara, but she just seemed like a Barbara because she's rather glorious. Now, I bet that if you choose to have a tree at home, you have some favorite decorations. Let me share some of mine with you. Yes, there's a polar bear that lives in my Christmas tree. I don't know why, I've always had a thing about bears and this polar bear, I mean, just look at that little face. And they go in the center of the tree, looking out at me every time I stare at her. Yes, her, Barbara, yeah. Four balls, yes, these two. In fact, I bought a selection of these when I first moved in here 25 years ago and I had my first tree. It took me a couple of years to warm up to having a Christmas tree. These are from Liberty, which is my favorite department store. You've probably seen it on my Instagram, which I will of course link down below because I love to hang out in Liberty. So many memories attached to these baubles. In fact, we have some more on baubles coming in a moment. Now this wreath behind me even predates me living here. I think I bought this when I was about 19, 20 years old and I was living in a shared house with six other people, yikes. Even though some of the lights have blown, they don't work anymore, it's got such strong sentimental value and it matches the lights on the tree. So she always has to go up every single Christmas. So that's it for that Barbara extravaganza. Come with me to the bedroom. So here's an exclusive for you. No one's ever seen my bedroom before. And this is where all the magic happens. No, not that sort of magic. Christmas magic. Hello, Santa. And yes, Christmas even makes it into my bathroom. Now seeing as this is Craig's Christmas crib and she really is a beauty, let's have some Christmas tree facts. So modern Christmas trees as we know them today originated in Central Europe and the Baltic states around the time of the Renaissance. Now that's the 16th century, not the Beyonce Renaissance. Here in the UK, it was Queen Victoria who popularized the Christmas tree. She had them all over her palace and it was Queen Charlotte who introduced her to them. Now she was married to King George III and in 1840, Queen Victoria was pictured in an illustration that was published in a British publication and the entire population had a Christmas tree in their home. So I love the word bauble. I don't know why, it just makes me smile. Every time I say the word bauble, I giggle to myself. So say it along with me now, bauble. Y you see, yeah, you see. So modern day glass Christmas tree baubles date back to before Queen Victoria, to around the 1600s actually, and they came from Germany and they were all hand blown and often decorated with real silver and gold. 
And I guess it makes a lot of sense, but they were actually inspired by the fact that people used to string apples together and hang them on the Christmas tree. So that just leaves one thing, and that's to say a huge thank you to all of you for your brilliant support throughout 2023. And here is to a happy new year. I have loads of things planned for 2024 already, and I might just have a few surprises up my sleeve. However you choose to spend whatever time you have off over the holidays, I hope you have a fantastic time. Merry Christmas. Right, okay, now it's time for some bubbles or maybe a cocktail whilst I dance about my tiny bijou flat and stare at Barbara. Now, where exactly did I put that mince pie?